Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. It's time for another beer review and we're off to Siren Brewery and we're looking at a can of the Hard Pour Broken Dream Nitro Breakfast Stout. Oh, there is the can. Pop that there, probably out see it quite nicely sitting on there. Uh, there it is, 6.5% ABV. And I had a comment from a guy called Gary who left a comment on one of my videos saying run it this stout through the nitro surge so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to have this breakfast stout it is a nitro stout so it will work with the widget i have done the pin prick method to gently release the gases so we don't activate that nitrogen i did a video on the pin prick method about four or five videos ago go back and have a look at that so that's what we're doing today so thank you gary for giving me the recommendation and i just happened to have a can of it i'm sure it's this one he's talking about he did say nitro breakfast out from siren it is that um i've had this in the man cave for ages absolutely ages sit on the back shelf so i'm sure i had it so i have so let's get on with it so thank you gary for the recommendation he said it's a very good through the nitro surge so let's find out let's get on with that so i won't two pint pour it's only a 440 mil can let's turn that on uh, and we'll get straight on with it so yeah if you've got nitro cans you can use the nitro surge device if you've got it i was quite critical of this when i first got it uh, but since i've had it a while and got used to it and played around with it and used it on other devices other devices on other nitro stouts as well uh, i love it it's a good device and i think for a beer device 22 quid really isn't that expensive when you think about how much uh, beer machines are etc go on that's uh, a pint can and it's filled that i lift that very gently but look at the surge that is doing the cascading and we're getting a very little bit of dome a very little bit a little dome on the top but only small but look at that cascading that is immense that is very, very good indeed. Uh, I can't remember where I picked this up from. Uh, the guy, Gary, left a comment. Uh, he said it's three pounds in Morrison's. So we're, we're run with that. Perhaps that is where I got it from. I can't remember. Um, but that is taking a while. That is just taking a long old time. I like a Guinness word. Look at it. Still going, that is. That looks incredible. So whilst that's doing that, let's... Uh, take that off what does it say on the can hard pour broken dreams and with nitro cans you should just tip them upside down and dump them into the can if you're not running it through a nitro surge device it even says that on the side just this way up pour hard pour fast just literally turn the can upside down and dump it in so it says nitro broken dreams has arrived an indulgence of chocolate and speciality malts our flagship stout is smooth whatever that word says, uncoctuous, Unco oh God, I've got no idea what that word says, unctuous, <laughs> and Moorish. It's brewed with lactose for balanced sweetness, uh, of course, along with a carefully selected coffee. These cans are dosed with nitrogen, it sure is. Uh, dosed with nitrogen in line for incredible mouthfeel. Pour hard and fast for the full cascade effect. We've definitely got that full cascade effect, You're putting it through the nitro surge. Probably a better cascade effect than it would have done straight out the can. Comes in at 6.5% ABV and now it's just developed the biggest head in the world. I was not expecting to see a head like that. Um, but it certainly has finished. Um, it was a 440ml can and it, it filled that pint glass, didn't it? So it has, has all turned into head. Because 440, you're about here anyway. Um, but yeah, look at that. That is dark. A few bubbles stuck to the side of that glass can form nice peaks on that that's a lovely lovely dense head really a really dense light tan head almost jet black there's a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom let's have a go on the aroma see if we can get through this extremely dense head definitely coffee do pick out the coffee that head is so thick and so dense I'm not getting much more coming through on that but certainly coffee and a nice roastiness so let's get drinking this one cheers gary this one's for you mate thanks for the recommendation oh there's someone else that i can't remember the name so i apologize i think it's on my inches cider review that i did with nathan my son 
asked me if I'd review some Aspel ciders. I've got some in, so if you're watching, I've got some in. Anyway, cheers. Oh, that's a good stout. Why have I left that? Why have I left that for months sitting on the back shelf underneath my bar? That's really nice. It's sweet. It has got a sweetness. You can definitely pick up on that lactose. It's super sweet, but that is super smooth and creamy through the nitro surge. Very smooth and creamy. Mm. That's delish. Oh. oh, they put a lot of nitrogen in that can. That is super smooth. But it does have a little rough edge. It's got a smokiness to it. A light kind of a smokiness to it. Definitely a sweetness, almost vanilla-like. But certainly sweet. Incredible mouthfeel. My whole inside of my mouth is absolutely coated with that. Nice little chocolate flavours, nice coffee flavour, lovely roasted flavour, a nice sweetness to it as well. I think that sweetness could become overpowering if you had a couple of these and put it through the nitro surge. I think it would get a little bit overpowering. Uh, but that is a very nice stout. And I bought it, like I say, so long ago and it's just sat on the back shelf. But what a great example of using a nitro beer, doing the pin trick, and then running it through the nitro surger. The Guinness a nitro surger. Oh, that coffee's just got a bit stronger with the roastiness. That's just got a bit stronger. Um, that's a good stout. Three quid. That's all right. Um, that's enjoyable. That's so creamy and so smooth. With great flavour. For a nitro stout as well, it's got really, really good flavour. Sometimes the nitrogen dulls flavours down, but that's good. Great body. Great stout. I've practically drunk it whilst we're chatting. Uh, nice conditioning. Highly recommend that. Mm. Thank you very much, Gary, for recommending running that through the nitro surge. And there you go. Another good example of why the Guinness Nitro Surge ain't a bad investment when you can use it on other nitro stouts as well uh, that's fantastic highly recommend it i don't probably recommend it on its own but highly recommend it even more if you've got the nitro surge pinprick method run it through the nitro surge cracking beer that's fantastic i'll buy more of that and i'd recommend it i'm all done see you on the next one take care bye now